Take a step back. Okay? And I'm going to step on his far foot with my far foot. It might not be right now. Shit, I may, it may be right there when I do it. Okay? But I'm going to step on his far foot with my far foot. And what I'm going to think about is, the very first thing I'm going to think about, I don't want to block him here. I can't block him here. I'm not going to get it done. I just isn't going to work. You can cut and strand them. You can, unless the guy's a shitty player, you ain't going to get it done. I, 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 wait, I can't get it done. You might be able to get it done. I can't get it done. So I plan on, so I'm going to stay, well, I'm going to at least meet him in front of where that guard started up. So here I am. Here I go. I'm going there. I'm going to, I have a drill called stepping over the line. And, and, and it would look like a step over the line. And I'm going to meet that guy. And I'm going to cross the T on him. So that when he sees this thing happen, he starts down the line, uh, you, you, you lose ground with a drop step. To gain position, you lose ground to gain time. Find out what he's going to do before you have to hit him. Cross the T on him. Now, I start, boom, you get to hit me. Okay, that's the cutoff. On a basic cutoff block on just a guy, is you're going to take a drop step, rip, step on his far foot with your far foot, and rip and arch your back. Okay? So it looks like this. Just a normal cutoff. I mean, wherever I mean, arch your back. Practice it all the time. Okay? Saw so one of our, that right guard do it. And if you pass the guy up, you pass the guy up, and he tries, you can box him out. That's called an ass block. You guys didn't know what I was talking about when I said Tiger. Tiger Johnson used to be the head coach here one time. He coached me when I was a player. And uh, there's a guy that I played with named Monty Stickles, who was quite a character. He never never hit anybody in the face ever. And so he was always snookering him. And so he did some deal, and, and he said, God, Sticks, that's a great ass block, because he stuck his ass in his face or something. He didn't teach it. It was just some way he got it. So there, yeah. that's why we got ass block. What? And he hated it when he used to coach the Tiger. He oh, he hated it. Marty. Oh, just Monty. Monty's ass, yeah. Monty's dead. Okay. I guess I'm real old. Okay. Uh, so that arch in your back, ripping. Just like defensive linemen rip to, you know, they put a move on you and they rip, just like that. Uh, it'll work. I mean, I coach with Floyd Peters, and Floyd Peters teaches a rip. Does he teach a rip? He'll rip and spin on you in a minute. So, I, I do it. I mean, it worked pretty good. I mean, you get that shoulder doing that. Okay, so that's the individual. When do you turn on a rip? Okay? Uh, Okay, I'll see, I don't have this written up, so as long as there's pressure on him, as long as there's pressure on you, keep pressure on him. Okay? If he drops the pressure and comes in the back door, then ass block him. When you turn, yes, there's a time to turn. Oh, jeez, turn it, wallet. You turn when there's air between your shoulder pad and his chest. So turn when there's air, turn on the air. Good. Turn. That's my turn. Okay. Um, scoop with a man head up. And a, and a guy, okay. That one looks like. Okay, uh, the tackle and guard are scooping, the center and the guard are scooping, whatever it is. The covered man uses a drop step and a forearm to get the shoulder going. It might be the left guard and the left tackle. There's a defensive tackle.